Hello, in this video we are actually going to run a program. Okay, so we've so far we've created what we call a class and the class is a text file with the extension .java. It's uh, in a particular location in our project. You should have something that looks kind of like this. Hello, there is the package and in the package is a class called, in this case, app.java. Um, I'm going to add some code in this um, class here and then we're going to be able to run it. So here it says to do auto generated method stub. So it's telling me that um, this is automatically generated and I can replace this thing here with some code. So this is actually a comment. It starts with two slashes. Uh, if, if you don't have that, don't worry. The, the really important thing is that you need to write some code and you need to write it in the correct place between these two brackets. We'll talk a little bit about the structure of this class, I think, in the next video. Um, but for now, notice it says at the top it's got package and your package name. Then we've got public class and the name of the class, which is app. We've got two curly brackets. Now within those two curly brackets, we've got this public static void main string array args. We'll be talking about this. Uh, I know it's all horribly complicated looking at the moment. And within those two brackets here, that's where we need to write our own code. I'm going to get rid of this comment. It, it's not doing anything, so I'll just delete it. And in there, I'm going to write sysout. And I'm going to hold down uh, on a Mac command key and probably on Windows a control key. And I'm going to press the space bar. Actually, what am I saying? On a Mac, it's also control. Hold down the control key and press the space bar. And what should happen is it auto-completes to this. It says system.out.println. And there's a couple of round brackets and a semicolon. If for some reason autocomplete is not working in your Eclipse, uh, you can maybe Google autocomplete Eclipse. Um, try and find out why it's not working. It, hopefully it should work. It should be control and spacebar, I think, uh, pretty much on any operating system. So what that what that did it was it it simply takes a shortcut a shortcut phrase sys out s y s o u t and it changes it into a bit of actual legitimate Java code so it's just a that's just a way of avoiding typing this out because um, we'll probably have to type this a lot and it's just quicker to type sys out but if you can be bothered if you have the patience you can just type system out print ln two round brackets and then a semicolon. Now I'm going to click inside these two round brackets and put in two speech marks. And in fact, if I type one speech mark, Eclipse automatically puts in the other one for me. Now inside those two speech marks, I'm going to type hello world. And this is just text and I can put what I like, but you have to be aware that there are some special characters, some kinds of punctuation uh, for example, like the backslash character, which if you type that in here, it won't work. You just need some ordinary text in there. And if you want, you can have a full stop or period, as you call it in America. And, uh, you know, or an exclamation mark or whatever. Okay, that'll do the trick. Now, I want to make sure that that is saved. So I'm going to go up to the top left here and click this save all button. Then it sort of goes gray. Okay, so I've got my, my program and it's saved. There are several different ways you can run it. Um, one way is um, make sure the file is selected, app.java, and click this green run button. Another way is to right click app.java and go to run as. Hopefully you can see that Java application. Let's just scroll down a bit here. So run as Java application. And I get that menu by right clicking it. But what I'm going to do is just um, select app.java and click the green run button in the top left here. And if you do that, you should see some output at the bottom. And it should say, hello world, or whatever you've typed in those speech marks. 
Um, if you don't see this console tab, you should you should see it when you run your program. And if you don't, in Window and uh, Show View, you can click to make sure the console is actually showing. Uh, so that catches some people out. But if you just installed Eclipse, the console should be visible. So you see there's a bunch of tabs here. One of them is console, and that's where your program output appears. Okay, so if you try that, you should find that you can run the program by clicking that Run button, and it should say Hello World. If you, if anything goes wrong, um, go over the video carefully. Make sure you've done every step correctly. If you get any error messages, type them into Google or an internet search engine, and um, just search for the error message and see what comes up. See what people suggest about how to fix the problem. Hopefully this will go smoothly. And when you've done that, you've run your first Java program. And I know you're, you're going to be totally confused. And in the next video, I think, uh, we'll talk a little bit about this program and what, what it is and how it works. Okay. So if, if you can actually get it to run, that's a major step forward. It's, it's really, really fantastic. And it is normal at this stage to, be, to feel very confused. Expect to feel confused. That's normal. Okay, until next time, happy coding.